Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Unity. Here we are heading into the uh, the Assassin Hideout. We haven't been here in a while. I've been running around with our girl and, and causing all kinds of trouble. Assassinating all kinds of guys and now we're back at home base. So we'll see how uh, how the rest of them feel about how we're, how we're doing. Here we go. Let's go ahead and buy some consumables and stuff here. Medicine is always good. Go ahead and buy those. No, typically we can loot those off people, but still. Another lock pick for 50. It's not too bad. And then, uh, nice. We can now hold three Berserk Blades and six Phantom Blades at once, or seven Phantom Blades at once. That's pretty badass. We should have made that upgrade a long time ago. That's with our new uh, forearm armor. But here we go. Council debriefing. Oh no. It's time to report to the council, boys. See what they got for us. Uh oh. Why down here? What in God's name happened at the Place de la Révolution today? Germain was there, and I know what his plan is. You have to... You were told to leave that investigation to others. Yes, but listen. Yes, but listen. Is that the regard in which you hold the Brotherhood? I knew this would happen. I told Mirabeau that you were too obsessed with your personal vendettas. This is why I joined the Brotherhood. Yes, not because you shared our ideals or felt called to the service. For revenge. For redemption. Call it what you will. You've defied the orders of this council repeatedly, pursued targets without sanction, and flouted our creed at every step. Uh-oh. Master Trené. In light of these actions, I find I have no choice but to call for a vote of expulsion. Oh, shit! Master Bellier. Agreed. What are you- Master Kimar. Agreed. Arno Dorian, you are attainted. Your rank and title are stripped from you, and you are hereby exiled from the Brotherhood of Paris. No way! Not serious. Listen, I know what Germain is doing. I can stop him! The decision of this council is final. We give you leave to go. We were just expelled from the Brotherhood. Are you serious? No way we're going to let that happen. No chance. Absolutely no chance. All right. Love and duty. Earned ourselves a trophy. So we're just going to have to prove to them that we, uh, we're really in the right here. I don't know. I guess he, yeah, like, they're supposed to be the ones that are calling the shots and, and telling us who to take out and, and what missions to run and stuff. We've been, we've been kind of trying to do it on our own. So I understand where they're coming from, but still at the same time, our heart's in the right place. It's not like we're doing this maliciously or trying to go against their word, but we're just, we're trying to do what we think is best. We're trying to take down these, these bad guys and put a stop to them. So I don't know. I understand it, but it's definitely a bad call. Oh shit, here's our old home, are you kidding me? Look at us. <clears throat> Just wasted. Is 
Brasserie Garceau. Was that last night? Twelve hours earlier. Get the hell out of here! But I... Ouch! You've caused enough trouble for one night. Damn. Fine. I'll procure my wine in some other fashion. <laughs> We're drunk right now. Look at us. Everything's a little bit wavy. All right, we gotta steal some wine. Get away! Wait a minute! Got ya! He won't hold out much longer. You can't go forever. Soon the you can't door. shake me, dog. It's bad when you're getting your ass beat by a drunk man. Come on, come on. Thought you were running home to mummy, but the dogs are the other way. Here we go. Literally just killed a bunch of guys and I'm I'm wasted. Nice. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> we are literally hammered coming in here killing people just to steal a bottle of wine. Oh gosh. Trying to pick a lock while drunk? Is this gonna be tough? Nope. They should have made that like insanely hard. There's no way drunk you could pick a lock. Nice. No, oh, so that's where I got the little keg barrel thing from. Brasil Brasau. So a lot of people get like blackout drunk, they get a little bit belligerent, they may, you know, start some fights and stuff. Arno gets blackout drunk and he, uh... Maybe I left it there. He gets blackout drunk and he starts killing people. <laughs> I would not like to go on an alcohol run with him. That's how it's gonna end up. Alright, here we go. Go to the Brissier. Playing this game wishes, or makes me wish that I would've, like, taken French in, in high school and stuff. Espanol, five years of it. Would have been cool to be able to speak French, but I just feel like Spanish is a little bit more, um, would just be a little bit more useful like just in general. A fight. There are more people that speak it here, especially in the States and stuff, and then, I don't know. Oh, Christ. I forget Not most of it again. anyway. Didn't do enough damage last night. No, I, I just, my father's watch. Have you seen it? I see nothing. Might want to ask one of the four men you picked a fight with, idiot. Shit. That's what we're looking for. This damn watch, we're always losing it. Watch it. Oh, you don't want to do that, boy. Piss off, old man. Shit. No way. I love how this is totally acceptable in these times. Like, oh, you hit me with a bottle over the head? Let's fight with swords and, and giant hammers. We'll kill each other. What's it next? Whoa. 
You know where it is now. It's just time to fight that mother chucker. You. Uh, where's your boss? Oh, shit. No. <laughs> Get back here. He was still there hungover. That's hilarious. Oh, he's this way. This is kind of an interesting mission. I was by your tavern last night. Decided that don't owe you anything. Been selling more. Got him. Where? The palace! The Red of Palace! Thank you. <laughs> Knock him out anyway. What a badass. That guy over there on top of that wagon's like, what the hell is going on? Everybody come look at this. Alright, but then I'll see you guys in the next episode. We're gonna go get our watch back.